What's up you guys? It's Marcus from Team Divine Pro. Um, otherwise known as Scruffy Pillows. Uh, yeah, so if you haven't already heard now from my intro, uh, I am officially a part of Team Divine Pro. I got the message a couple of weeks ago asking me if I wanted to join from Tony. And I was ecstatic. You know, I followed him back on another YouTube channel of mine. So to be able to work with him now is really really awesome so huge huge shout out to them thank you so much for this opportunity uh well I, I guess it's a huge shout out to my new team so yeah but uh anyway I'm gonna be releasing all of my content from now on uh this video will be on there so definitely go check us out we'll be in the description below um I'll probably post more stuff from my scruffy pillows account uh, I'm not saying that it will be as active as I am on Team Divine Pro, but, you know, it, it may still be there. My Scruffy Gaming Facebook page is going to be open. There's a Team Divine Pro Facebook page open, so uh, both of those links will be down below as well, so you can go check those out. But anyway, for my first official video for Team Divine Pro, I thought I would do a deck profile on my Nisekoi deck. Now, granted... Uh, it's not this deck right here. Uh, this deck is going to Tony, as a matter of fact. Um, but I did get four other decks, and I'm doing kind of like a mock deck profile, kind of what I did with Contact Collection. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and I promise you I pretty much know everything about this deck. So for starters, we're going to jump into level zeros. I run two of this Raku. Uh, he's... Basically, you pay two stock and you can search for a key character out of your deck. I think the cost is a little expensive, which is the only reason why I run two. And also, there's a lot cheaper event that essentially does the same thing, and I run three of those. And I'll show you those in a minute. But that's what he does. It's a level zero cost zero, 1500 searcher for two stock. I run uh, th uh, three, sorry, three of this uh, um, Ruri. Uh, she is on your opponent's turn she gains plus 1000 so she's uh, 3.5 on your opponent's turn which is pretty solid for level zero the next seven cards are vanillas uh, they are four of this onodera and three of this chitoge I'm running only three of her and four of her because uh, well I'm only running three of chitoge because I like her, but uh, going along with my love of Kana Hanazawa, which you guys have seen in some of my other videos, um, I wanted to uh, capitalize on Onodera, so that's why she's in there at four. And speaking of four, we have four of the basic uh, 500 up front um, uh, Onodera support. So that's basic level zero lineup. It's pretty much vanilla rush for the most part on there and casual support so yeah it's level zero for level ones still going along with vanilla I run th four of this vanilla Raku he's five five so I run three of this Chitoge on your turn she is plus 1000 so she's at 6k for level one which is, like I said, it's, I mean, it's pretty solid. So, I run two of this Onodera. Basically, she gives all of your other key characters a plus 500 power. And also, you can rest her, or uh, you can rest two of your characters. Sorry. You can rest two of your characters and select one of your characters and give them the ability of if they reverse an opponent's card then you get to draw one card off the top of your deck and send one card from your deck to your clock if I'm not mistaken um, she uh, so she's basically like the vivid blue of uh, vivid red operation so yeah or she makes something else like Vivid Blue. I run three of this backup Sugumi for uh, level one cost one. She uh, backs up for 2,000. So she's nice. 
And that level one event that I was talking about for cost one is this event right here. It's the Pendant of Promise. And basically what it does is, and I don't know if the glare is really bad on these. Yeah, it's okay. Um, but basically you pay one stock and you get to search your deck for a key character and add it to your hand. So it's a... Uh, it's quite nifty as the primarily the deck is all key character except for the Sugumi. She's a weapon character, but it's it's okay, you know. You'll draw into her eventually. So for level two, I run three of this Chitoge over here, and she is the climax combo. So she climaxes with this climax right here is the 1k1 soul and basically what she says is that if whenever she's on in play and you put this climax in play choose up to two characters on your opponent's side of the field and pop them back to their hand so she's really dangerous especially if you have like two of them on the field you can pop four characters back and that's not something your opponent really wants they don't want you to swing in for uh high damage so I mean, granted, it's a double-edged sword because if you are attacking them directly the whole time, you're going to be dealing more damage, giving them the opportunity to uh, cancel on you. However, if you know that your opponent has a lot of climaxes in their deck, um, then you can use this to siphon through those, get rid of them, uh, make them climax cancel early, or even if you know that they don't have them, uh, you know, soul rush them. So... Uh, she's she's pretty neat and so yeah but uh yeah I run three of those I run two of this 9k Onodera uh, level two cost one basically when she comes into play reveal top card of your deck if it's a climax she gets rested so uh, other than that she's the 9k vanilla but I mean yeah <laughs> so uh for the last little bit of level 2, I run this level 2 cost 2 Chitoge, and her ability is that for every other key character or weapon character on your side of the field, she gains an additional 500 power. So, you know, like I said, pretty much everything in this deck is key or weapon, you know, so she can uh, hit pretty high. She'll be at 10k with a full field, so, which is pretty nice in my opinion. And lastly, for the level 3 roundup, I have uh, four of this Chitoge, and I have the Triple R version, which I don't know if you guys can... Yeah, there it is. You can see the hollow foil on the back. Kind of get an idea. But uh, her ability is that whenever she is on the field, if you uh, have a Climax card uh, in play, you can pay one stock and you can give her plus 4500 power and also I want to say I don't know I forgot what that first ability was uh, I thought I knew what this card did completely I'm sorry uh, whatever that first ability is I'll probably put it in an annotation somewhere over here so but she does uh, you can pay one stock and give her 4500 power if you have a climax in play so uh, 14,500 is pretty scary, uh, even without assists or anything else. So, But yeah, that's my level 3 lineup. And as you guys could probably guess already, for Climaxes, I run 4 of the uh, 1k1 soul that Climax combos with the level 2 Chitoge that you saw earlier. Um, basic 1k1 soul, and it's got the uh, bounce trigger on there as well. So... I run four of those. I run two of the plus two soul uh, climax for the deck. It helps with soul rush and everything else for later and getting rid of opponents climaxes early game. You know, uh, whatever I need it to do, it's there. And last but not least, what deck is complete without the plus one K plus one draw uh, and one soul to everything which is kind of glared on there we go uh and yeah standard t 
TD uh, trigger lineup or climax lineup for the deck. So, anyway, that is the deck. Uh, it's it's nothing special. It's it's pretty okay. Um. So and yeah, it's in my lovely Sheena sleeves. Uh, but the deck is fun. I enjoy playing it. I also have another variant of this deck. It is the Vanilla Soul Rush deck, which is in here. I may put that out there. Probably not, since it would just be like the same cards over again. Uh, also, for Team Divine Pro, we may be putting out a lot more battle videos, so you may actually get to see some of these decks in action, like this deck, my Guilty Crown deck, uh, Vivid Red, all sorts of other stuff. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I believe I mentioned I was jumping out of the English meta for Vanguard, so you can look forward to seeing a lot more Japanese stuff on there. I have a special deck that is being sent to me currently, so I'm excited to get that, and I'll probably do a profile on it as well. So this video is getting kind of lengthy, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. But thanks, you guys, for joining me on the mock profile of my Nisekoi deck. If you want to check out more of my videos, you can check out my Scruffy Pillows page or my uh, channel. And you can also look for me on in future videos on Team Divine Pro. So both of those are going to be available for you as well. Uh, we are still doing the contest video, Tony and I are, so I'm just letting you know ahead of time. We haven't forgotten about it. I'm two subscribers away on Scruffy Pillows from being able to hit that, uh, that mark, but I think since I'm joining in with Team Divine Pro, we may just cut that out. So, um, yeah, I'll be doing, uh, the sleeve giveaway and, like, all that other stuff, uh, later. So, <laughs> you know... Go check us out on Team Divine Pro. Check out my Scruffy Pillows Facebook page or my Scruffy Gaming page, the Team Divine. Just look at the links below. Don't don't listen to me talk. Just look at the links below. Click on whatever one you want. Like, comment, subscribe, everything else. Go check out Team Divine Pro. Look for me in future videos, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> later.